Hi, Gary here. You know, in the 1900s through the 1970s, uh, people used this apron system. And what it was is they would get their check from the factory, they'd cash it at the bank, they'd come home and had an apron on the back of a door, and it'd have, you know, electric bill, phone bill, Christmas uh, club, etc. And they'd put all the money in there. And then when it came time to pay each of the bills, they'd have the money to do that. It's a really ingenious system, and they were able to make sure everything was taken care of very easily. Great habits. And of course, that one's gone, and nobody is doing that anymore at this point. There's another thing that psychologists will tell us, the way we behaviorally act throughout our lives, and there's things called internal triggers. And so what's happening today with our internal triggers, something like boredom. You're bored, and if you're, you're a guy necessarily, maybe you would check your sports app on your smart device, all right? Um, maybe you're lonely. If you're lonely, you might check Facebook. And then there's financial anxiety. And maybe you check the markets, or maybe you check the news, or maybe you look at the balance of your account online. But you're going to have some kind of a trigger that then triggers something else. And today, a lot of those triggers end up on our smartphones, smart devices. So today I wanna to talk about the big bad B word budget <laughs> and so this we call it a spending plan but there are certain wants we all have in the world and i don't know anybody who doesn't want to cut back on expenses somewhere for a variety of reasons young people that want to save more money uh, for later on in life older folks want to have more money available so they don't run out of it you know, down the road by the way they, they want to do something proactive about that. And so there's some habit changes that they take place using these smartphones based on these internal triggers. So let's say again, financial anxiety. Let's take something simple. You just want to save an extra $100 a month on spending. You really want to do that. You made a decision, hey, it's the fourth quarter this year, I'm going to start doing that right away. Well, you can go to um, this article here I, I, uh, uh, that w I read recently on entrepreneur.com and it's titled Six Apps That Help You Stick to Your Goals. I didn't check out the apps, but they, my pre preview of them looked pretty good. And there's free ones and other ones. What you can do is put that app on your phone and when you do feel that, flip into it, you can have a goal set up already to be able to do that to save money. It could be you, you have one less latte a week from Starbucks or you don't go out to eat one day a week or something that you just feel really strongly about that you want to change that particular habit. And I think these smart devices now because of this automatic nature of this addictiveness that we've got grown to we can use to our advantage here in terms of money habits changing that stuff around. Something for you to think about going into the new year. So until next time enjoy.